everyone and welcome to another video from Colour with Claire. Today we're looking at the latest edition of Colour in Heaven. This is the Dreamtime special. Now I'm on the mailing list for Colour in Heaven. If you're not, get yourself on there because before the release of every single edition each month you'll get an email with a little sneak peek of the front cover so you get to kind of guess who the uh, this month's artist is going to be. And as soon as I got my sneak peek this month, I instantly knew it was going to be Hannah Carlson because her style is just so unique. You can tell it from a mile off. So you know it's going to be Hannah's work just by glancing at one of her illustrations. And I was super, super excited. Hannah's one of those massive colouring book illustrators that pretty much everyone in this community has heard of, if not already got one of her books. I'm sure she's got about six or seven books out now. I'm not sure. I need to check my shelf. But uh, she is certainly one of my favourite illustrators, for sure. Uh, her first book, Dag Drama, was the one and only colouring book I've ever completed from start to finish. Uh, there is a video for that on my channel somewhere, so you can see it. Um, but yes, I really do love Hannah's work. She is an incredible illustrator, and it's awesome that she has her own edition of Colour in Heaven. So as you can see... We've got 40 magical designs from Hannah Carlson. They are not new designs. They're not exclusive to Colour in Heaven. They can be found throughout Hannah's books. So if you already have Hannah's whole collection or if you have just one or two, you'll recognise the images within this. So they're not new. They're not sort of specially commissioned for this or anything, just so you know. But what's really great about that is that if you don't have any of Hannah's books, because I know they can be a little bit tricky to get hold of, a little bit expensive to get hold of, um you have a an edition of Colour in Heaven that costs £5.49 that has a whole plethora of Hannah's illustrations from all of her books within. So you're getting sort of the best bits of every single book that she's got. And uh, yeah, I think that makes it really, really worthwhile. So as usual with Colour in Heaven, we have a colourable cover front and back with Hannah's lovely illustrations on there. We'll open up and... Read a little bit about Hannah if you don't know already. She was born and raised in the north of Sweden. She went through life with a pencil in her hand right from the get-go. Uh, she finds her inspiration in history and nature and often adds dreamlike elements to her drawings. The last few years she's created a range of colouring books that have gained success around the globe depicting magical strong characters including jewellery, flowers and animals. Hannah will be releasing a new colouring book this spring. If you haven't heard about that, um, I did share a post a while ago. I think it's called Midnight Masqueratin or something. I can't pronounce it, but it's a different publisher. So I'm really interested to see how that's going to turn out because all of Hannah's books so far have been by the same publisher, same format, size, shape, paper, etc. Anyway, so straight into the first illustration we have one of Hannah's beautiful portraits she's quite famous for being able to draw these gorgeous very opulent and decorated ladies um, and as we go through you'll see that her style really does stay with the um, kind of dripping with jewellery and gems and lots of decoration and ornamentation that's kind of her style so I've not long received this edition and I haven't yet had chance to colour anything from it, but I will be peppering this video with a few little um, thumbnails of Hannah Carlson images that I've coloured in the past. So they might not be images that you'll find in this particular book, but um, just it's just so you can see what Hannah Carlson's, I don't know why I keep calling her by her full name, <laughs> what Hannah's um, artwork looks like when it's had some colour added to it, if you don't know already. So as you can see, we've got female portraits, we've got sort of collections of items. This one here, I believe, is from her latest book. Um, and it's it's a kind of witchy potions, frogs and all sorts of things going on. So it's a little bit gothic in that sense. You'll also find loads of crowns in Hannah's work. She does love her jewellery and uh, yeah, just beautiful, beautiful work. This is again another one, I believe, from... If not her latest book, then it's from the one before, which was the jewellery box, I believe. But I think it might be from the latest one. I'm really rubbish at remembering and guessing things. Um, so here we've got a couple of birds. Again, something you'll see throughout Hannah's books, these beautiful birds and crystals as well. This one's really, really interesting. So it's like these mushrooms are growing out of the bird's back and head and also out of his legs as well. It's very odd. Is a more spherical kind of portrait, very contained. And you've got the 
mushrooms again, taller than the houses, so very fantastical, very whimsical as well. And we've got the rabbit from the first book. And we also have a whole collection of animals, especially in her re most recent book, Spirit Animals, because that depicts a person and their animal. So you always see um, kind of their counterpart, if you wish, uh, to uh, get that book. I'm just going to flip through. I'm sure most of you are really familiar with Hannah's work and you will have seen a lot of these illustrations already if you have her previous books. So absolutely love this, the owl headdress. Pretty sure that's one from the Spirit Animals book as well. Little mice, we've got them in this sort of forest contained little enchanted wooded area. Uh, this is one from the first book that I coloured. Uh, I think I did it monochrome with a um, like a technical address. We've got a side on profile, flowers growing out of the hair. This looks like a fox and a little fox cub. Again, we've got the mushrooms growing out everywhere. It's very sort of organic and nature based. Another one from the first book. I did a cloudy sky background on this, if I remember rightly. This one looks as if it'll be from Magical Dawn because that was Hannah's book that had a lot of magical elements within it. Spells and things like that. We've got a really odd looking fish with lots of coral growing out of his back, something you find on Blue Planet. Um, this one is definitely from Spirit Animals because I've coloured it. So <laughs> yeah, I had a really, really fun time colouring that one and the page next to it as well. So we've got a bouquet of flowers literally growing from her skin and then some butterfly wings from her head as well. I love how she merges the human animal elements together. Beautiful fox, pretty sure that was from the first book as well. I'm trying to remember because that was the one that I coloured the whole way through. We've got some lanterns and another one I think from her most recent book. I don't know, I could be wrong. Absolutely gorgeous, look at this crown. Just the detail on it, it's amazing. So we have what looks like a phoenix rising from the flames. But then again, it's got a really long beak. I don't know, do phoenixes have that long of a beak? Maybe it's just some sort of hybrid creature that Hannah's thought up. So we have what looks to be some sort of, <laughs> I'm going to get this so wrong, but I want to say emu kind of creature that is on a leash with a saddle on his back. This one's gorgeous as well. You've got the yin, the yang, night and day. You've got a beautifully decorated sort of dragonfly looking type thing, but... Just odd, very, very odd. Obviously, Hannah makes up these creatures out of her own imagination. It's just incredible, really. Um, I do know the breed of this dog because I think my dad's got one or used to have one, um, but I've forgotten. Is it a Cavalier King Charles Cavalier? I don't know, but it's a dog anyway. <laughs> a dog in a head crown, a lovely flower crown. And this is one that I've definitely coloured. I think I did a background tutorial on this with Spectrum Noir Aqua pens. So you can probably find that in my channel somewhere. And that's it. That's the end of the book. So I really hope you've enjoyed looking because it certainly is one of the best colouring heavens so far. Um, along with people like Hannah Lynn and... Um, and who's the other one I'm trying to think of? Jasmine Beckett Griffith. These huge illustrators that have had their own colouring heaven issues. They are absolutely stunning. I hope you'll agree this one is too. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think about it, what your favourite illustration is from the book, if you're a Hannah fan, and if you'll be buying your copy of Colouring Heaven. If you want to do that, you can find it in the UK in your local newsagent or supermarket. If you're further afield, you can also... Um, you can also get yourself a copy, but you'll have to buy it online. All the links will be in the description, including the one for you to subscribe to Colouring Heaven, which, uh, you know what a subscription entails. You'll get this issue sent to you every single month. Not this particular one. <laughs> a new issue sent to you every single month. Um, so, yeah, thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.